Hello everyone, I am Neil Trevitt, Vice President of Developer Ecosystems at NVIDIA, President of the Kronos Group, and I am also serving as President of the newly formed Metaverse Standards Forum. There's a lot of discussion about what form the Metaverse will take, but many agree that it will combine the social and economic connectivity of the web with advanced user interfaces and immersiveness of spatial computing. At its heart, the metaverse is the combination of multiple technologies, each of which is disruptive in its own right, but when combined, is creating a generational shift in how we interact with our technology and each other. And this is the shift that we are calling the metaverse. These technologies include AI, GPUs, XR, Web3, and advanced ubiquitous networking such as 5G, 6G, and beyond. The metaverse and AI are symbiotic, the metaverse will increasingly become the user interface that we use to interact with AI-driven compute resources and smart agents, providing new levels of natural interaction and data insights. Because we are bringing together multiple complex technologies, each undergoing rapid innovation, it's impossible to realistically predict how the metaverse will evolve. But the one thing we can be sure of is that we need the interoperability of multiple technologies working together at global scale, which means we will need timely interoperability standards, which in turn will require engaged standards organizations that are deeply connected to real world use cases and requirements. Indeed, the breadth of the metaverse will require a constellation of open standards being created by hundreds of standards organizations, consortia, nonprofits, companies, and universities. Often today, these organizations are inevitably focused on their specific siloed areas of expertise. And very often, they do not have the opportunity to cooperate and communicate with organizations in other domains. But robust cross-boundary dissemination of insights and ideas is essential. And that was the catalyst for the formation of the Metaverse Standards Forum a unique venue that is not a standards organization itself, but an accessible, neutral venue open to all to encourage cross-silo communication and cooperation between the standards community and the wider industry. Since its creation, the forum's mantra has been to stay pragmatic, keep grounded, and be driven by bottom-up industry priorities. We have avoided trying to define the metaverse or create multi-year metaverse roadmaps because the metaverse will evolve in a messy but glorious Darwinian manner with repeated waves of innovation, creating technologies that provide unexpected opportunities for innovative new products and services. So what is the role for this new type of pre-standardization organization in such a dynamic environment? Standards committees are not effective vehicles for front-end research and development. Meaningful standards are built when a new technology becomes well understood, but its deployment is fragmented. Effective standardization occurs when the industry has reached a consensus that everyone will benefit from an interoperability standard being available and pervasively deployed. This means there is a unique time window in the standardization of new technology after a basic technology has been proven, but bef before interoperability standards are established. The forum focuses on this uniquely active and chaotic pre-standardization window for the metaverse to encourage communication and cooperation across traditional technology boundaries to uncover opportunities for standardization that may otherwise go unnoticed or underserved. To our surprise, when we launched the forum in 2022, membership quickly grew to over 2,600 organizations, confirming the strong interest in and the need for this new type of collaborative venue. The forum members are from all over the world and include standards organizations, leading universities, organizations advocating for legislation and best practice, and a range of hardware, content, tools, and platform companies from the largest corporations down to single person startups. This creates a unique opportunity to gather global diverse requirements and expertise and to drive widespread visibility and pragmatic cooperation on metaverse standardization with meaningful participation that can make a significant difference in the industry. 
In the two and a half years since its foundation, the forum has been evolving processes for effective and agile pre-standardization collaboration between this diverse membership with fast, multiple, fast-moving activity tracks that meet regularly, often weekly. And this is vital because such a large and diverse membership creates interesting challenges on how to organize for effective action and decision making. The forum follows a consensus-based, bottom-up, three-step process to identify projects where the forum membership wishes to focus. The first step is to continuously poll the membership and ask them to upvote their most important metaverse-related topics. And we now have an active topic list of over 200 and growing. Step two is to gather those upvoted topics into domains and create exploratory groups that work to build consensus around potential working group charters that capture what are the most pressing interoperability opportunities or issues in that domain and what pragmatic actions that can be taken. And then the third step is to create focused working groups to execute those charters aiming to provide immediate benefits to both members and the wider industry. And this is a snapshot of the current domain groups at the forum. There are around 12 active working groups with more exploratory groups in the pipeline. They group roughly into technology areas such as 3D asset and streaming formats, avatars and apparel, uh, geospatial networking and the web stack. There are non-technical areas such as education and accessibility, privacy, identity, and Web3 digital rights management, and market verticals such as the industrial metaverse. And if you don't see the dom domain group that you would be interested to participate in, please join the forum and propose one. This is the structure of the forum since we recently incorporated. Any organization can join to become a participant member with no membership fee to participate in any forum domain groups that interest them. Organizations that wish to support the forum and want to have a voice and a vote in management and direction of the forum can become principal members through paying a membership fee that scales from $50 for a single person company up to $10,000 US for the largest corporation. Principal members may participate in oversight of the domain group pipeline and may stand for election and vote in board elections. The forum is a non-profit, and so any membership dues are used to fund forum operations and projects. And to enable participation by diverse organizations, membership fees are waived for non-profits and standardization organizations. So what are some notable forum activities and outcomes? Let's look at a small sample. One very popular aspect of domain groups is inviting industry domain experts to update the group on latest practices and the state of the interoperability ecosystem from their perspective. The forum has gathered now dozens of these presentations on a wide range of topics and made them publicly available on the forum website and YouTube channel. This creates a valuable resource on state of the art on multiple metaverse related topics. The first forum domain group that was formed was the Standards Register Working Group, which is compiling a register or database of the hundreds of standards organizations globally creating standards that are relevant to the metaverse to enable effective exploration and navigation through the standardization landscape. Once entered into the register, a standards organization can upload detailed information about their standardization projects and publications. Most recently, the Standards Register Working Group has created a process to collect and collate use cases from across all of the forum domain groups, enabling generation of robust industry-driven standardization requirements to be supplied to standards organizations. Another active forum working group has brought together the Kronos and Alliance for Open USD standards organizations that are evolving the GLTF and OpenUSD 3D asset standards to cooperate on how these two communities can best work together to leverage each other's strengths and align roadmaps to avoid duplication of effort and needless industry fragmentation. 
This working group has successfully fostered a deep and genuine spirit of cooperation for the benefit of everyone in the industry that is authoring and deploying 3D assets and content. Current projects include testing the ability to round-trip GLTF assets through USD-based authoring tools, and an analysis on what is needed from the GLTF and USD roadmaps to finally enable and streamline tooling using use cases that still require the much older FBX format, which is becoming increasingly problematic and expensive to support. The forum's Interoperable Avatars Working Group is fostering collaboration between avatar and character creators, including platform owners, open source projects, and standards organizations. The goal is to identify and resolve interoperability issues so avatars can become portable across multiple metaverse environments, growing market opportunities for avatar and character capabilities. A goal of the domain group is to create an avatar and character translation framework to streamline character import and export between different platforms. And that's planned to be released in open source. The Network Requirements Working Group is exploring how to uh, how broadband networks can support demanding XR use cases, including split rendering, where a lightweight XR device runs a thin client, passing all sensor data to an edge server, running an XR application that generates rich graphical imagery that is passed back to the device. This needs wireless connectivity that is both high bandwidth and low latency. Open standards such as OpenXR from Kronos enable hiding the network round trip from both the server application and the on-device proxy, whilst handling network communication, including APIs to optimize quality of service. And zooming out from this XR networking use case, we begin to see the constellation of standards needed in the metaverse ecosystem and a diversity of standards organizations creating them. There are network standards, device hardware APIs and connectors, native compute and graphics acceleration APIs, leveraged by JavaScript APIs in the web stack, multiple 3D asset formats and frameworks, streaming formats for video, 3D and volumetric video, geospatial and digital twin frameworks, blockchain standards and services, and not to forget advocacy organizations promoting privacy and security as the metaverse becomes pervasive. To bring so many moving parts together into a coherent platform will require an unprecedented degree of industry cooperation. And that brings us back to why the Metaverse Standards Forum was created. The broad participation in the forum and its close connection to industry is a unique opportunity for cooperation to build the standards that we all need through gathering meaningful industry requirements and expertise. We warmly invite any in organization to join the forum and to propose, lead, or participate in forum domain groups. For although we can't know precisely what form the metaverse is going to take, we do believe it will be far better if we build it together. Thank you.